There's a reason that I tell you when you're getting gas in your car to play four corners, today we see why. To win the fight after the fight, you need help. After a use of force, I trust Firearms Legal Protection to help me win the fight for the rest of my life. From their 24-7 attorney answered hotline to coverage for the use of all legal tools, Firearms Legal Protection has you covered. Get a discount by signing up at the link below. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection where every day we post a real life use of force caught on camera so that our training and our practice can be more evidence based. I am your host as always, John Correa. Today's lesson comes to us from Oakland, California. This woman's pumping gas at the gas station just about finished topping off the tank. And as she finishes topping off the tank, the guy takes that as his opportunity and says, oh, I'm gonna jump in your car. And she tries to stop him from jumping into her car, but she's not going to be able to and he's gonna get it started and as he pulls off, I think that gas pump, the quick disconnect on it, got her across the face. I'm not 100% sure on that. Can't find a real like local news story on this one. So if you have it, link it in the comments for me, would you? Hey, once again, I'm coming and asking you to join us at the ASP National Conference. This year, 2024, it is the first weekend in September. Every year it's in Manhattan, Kansas, and 100% of fundraiser for the Flint Hills Foster Teen Camp. They help abused and abandoned foster teens have hope in the world and to, to make it out of the hell of the foster system and the hell that put them there. So please, friends, come and join us. You make a donation to the camp. I make nothing on the ASP National Conference. In fact, it costs me a bunch of money. And if you can't make it this year, please hit the link in the description anyways and give them a financial gift to help this all volunteer organization help these kids. Even five bucks helps, so help me out, would you? This is why I strongly encourage you play Four Corners. Remember how Four Corners is played, right? First thing you do, keep the keys with you, not in the car, lock your doors. And then once you start the pump, put the, the uh, auto feature on the pump, and then you're gonna stand at each corner and pay attention to what's going on around. Yeah, check your tire pressure and those kinds of things. You know, make it look like you're paying attention to your car. But see what's going on in your world and not get stuck inside that pump and with the doors closed and locked, this kind of stuff can't happen. This is why Four Corners is so important, why we put out shorts on that and those kinds of things. Because otherwise, again, she's not paying attention and the guy's just gonna jump in her car. Now, does she have the right to stop him from doing this? Of course she does. She has every right to stop somebody from uh, stealing her property. But just because you have the right to do something, do you have the ability to do it? Can you actually affect a stop on that? Well, listen, I don't think she does and that's gonna be a problem. Now. If you have family members in here, right? You got children in the car, babies in car seats or something, then you gotta fight like you're the third monkey trying to get on the ark and brother, it's starting to rain, okay? You, you, you can't let him kidnap your children. If this is just your car and it's your stuff, I hate it, but it's probably smarter to not try to stuff yourself in the car with this guy because of the chance of injury, right? You're, you, and, and again, your hospital bill is gonna be more than that. In this case, it's exactly what we see here. She gets hit for, with the quick disconnect on the hose, People you know, pull off with hoses attached to their car all the time. And so that injury, that hospital bill is probably more than her insurance deductible, right? So just purely from that perspective, I don't think it's a good idea. But again, if your family's in the car, man, that's all bets are off. Don't use deadly force to stop somebody from simply stealing your car, okay? So if it's just a car theft, I wouldn't recommend that you use deadly force. If there's your children in the car, your loved one, you know, something like that, yeah, absolutely. Because now you're stopping a kidnapping, which is a forcible felony, and not a car theft, okay? Let's be smart about this one. The best way to prevent it, it, it to, to get out of this one is to prevent it, okay? Play four corners. That's the smart way here to cover your ASP.